Hello, welcome back. Last episode, we started exploring this island. This episode, I continue to explore it. Um, I dove into this giant pool at the end of it. There's a hole on the way out. Uh, I think the bottom side just leads to the middle of the island. So I think this is literally just a uh, push eight F8 to... Okay, you know what? Sure, why not? Um, how does this work? Uh, game good. <laughs> there you go. Game good. Uh, it's been quite a while since the game was released, so I I, I doubt they uh, read that, but who knows? They may, they, maybe they might. Um, anyhow, I think I checked out... What was that called? The Observatory? No, that was one of the base of Peace's name, right? Uh, I checked that thing out. Um, and I need to check out the other one, because I did see a different one. Uh, I should also probably be scanning stuff while I'm at it. Uh, which one did I go to? How am I s- ooh, I can pick up Speckled Rattler? Alien Flora Sample. Okay, I'm just gonna drop this for now, because I feel like carrying around a massive amount of mushrooms. Uh, it's not gonna do me too much, right? Okay, there seems to be different biomes on this island, right? It was like, once you go up in elevation, the trees become more spa sparse, as is for real mountains. Um... I heard footsteps. I heard very loud footsteps. I'm, I, I'm not the only one who heard that, right? I think I just saw something move in that shrub over there. Okay, you know what? No cowardice. Figure it out what's happening. Um. No? I don't trust that. I'm leaving. <laughs> I think I've been to that one, right? Oh, they both look the same, though. They, I think they're literally... Are these, like, symmetrical buildings? Is there meaning in that? Okay. Oh, ooh, that's a cool little arc above the wall. Oh, I love that. That's a little land bridge. Oh, that's neat. Huh, okay, how do I get to that one? This one seems... I, I'm just gonna Skyrim horse it. Uh, oh, also another land bridge over here. Interesting. Okay, so maybe I am supposed to go, you know, skirting around. Yeah, look, this seems to be a little bit of a footpath. Oh no, this is how I was supposed to get here. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, let me try to recap things, because I know things got a little bit um confusing for myself last time. So, as far as we know, I'm just going to keep walking the whole time. Um, there are, there, there is another group of people who landed here quite some time ago, judging by the state of their buildings. Um, it seems to be, they said it was a group of three, right? It was, um, the young one, uh, his father. Is this the hunter that I've been warned about? They don't have in oh my god, they They might have invisibility technology, right? They have cloaking tech. Okay, if I get stabbed in the spine by a fucking biomechanical monster, so be it. Their voice did sound pretty robotish robotic, if I remember right, but that could have just been the translation being rather rough with uh their tongue. Anyhow, okay, yeah, I can get a better view of the island now, um, I mean, we seem to be losing quite a lot of detail up here, but from what I can gather, please don't push me off while I'm uh, standing precariously over the edge. <sighs> okay, um, hmm. There seems to be a path around the island. I really want to jump from the top of this thing, but I don't think that's a good idea. Um, okay. Uh, composite plant pot. New blueprint acquired. And is that another one? Chinese potato. Let's see. Anything interesting about this potato? Um, the Chinese potato is common through out the China territories where synthetic foods are stigmatized. 
There remain large tracts of arable land to which grow fresh produce, genetically designed prior to the expansion. I'm guessing they mean like space expansion, right? Ooh, my voice. No. Uh, this plant is highly adaptable to different environments and a staple of new colonies. I do hope that's just like ambience, right? And that's just like rocks tumbling. Um, and a staple of... Okay, so this is basically, I guess, the China Territories. Uh, right? Ch China Territories, they don't like fake food. How is this? Is this also from them? Uh, this plant collects water from the air rather than the relying on its root system and produces large fleshy fruits, which are both edible and have a typically high water content. Edible. High water con- Ooh. Okay, that's neat. So, like, they collect water for, like, humid- like, humidity, and I guess that would have to be in, uh, on, like, a rather tropical location for most of their stuff. Um... Integrating new PDA data. Interesting. This uh, island is a godsend. Look out of the window. No predators. Fresh food. No building materials. Nothing left of the ship. And your kid says we're gonna starve without more grow beds. Speak up, kid. It's true, father. The natural growth rates are too slow to keep supporting us. All I'm saying is oceans got us surrounded. No use hiding. Sooner or later, we'll get our feet wet. The rest of your life may have been a fight maider, but I've made my decision. You wanna forfeit your emergency pay to take a swim? Go ahead. Believe me, I'm thinking of Okay, so, interesting, um, Paul seems to be rather apprehensive about exploring the ocean, okay, I think that's just ambience and that's supposed to be rock stumbling, um, uh, I do hope that's the case because that would, it, I don't want to think about the alternative, um, so Paul, he seems to be rather, how do I say it, conservative in safety, right? He doesn't seem too willing to take risks, because I remember he also wanted, uh, what's his name? Bart, uh, to stay inside while it was raining in order not to empty the, like, row beds of water. Uh, Margaret, I think she's the mercenary. She seems to be rather, well, <laughs> quite the opposite. She seems to be much more of a daredevil, but, you know, that might be the correct choice on this place. Um... I don't think there's... They could have eaten bulbo trees like I do, but I guess uh, they probably didn't have enough to go. Also, yeah, here's here's a question about chronology of things. How old are these people in terms of... Well, not old. How... When did they crash relative to us, right? Because if they crashed... Uh, let's say... I don't know. Because it was a couple hundred years ago. Oh, you know what? Okay, you know, I was gonna, I was saying a couple hundred years ago because previously, uh, my codex, my tablet, the PDA, that's the word, my PD, what does PDA stand for? Personal Device Assistant, personal, personal, <laughs> uh, digital assistant, something like that, probably, um, PDA, the PDA said that the alien structure, I suppose it was also my scanner tool, uh, when we went inside, there was a couple hundred years old, maybe even thousands. But this seems to be the same things we can construct now. And also, I made the assumption off the fact that there were no aliens anymore. Um, there clearly are, seeing as we've gotten message... Why did I pull this out? Did I do that? Uh, that we are being hunted. Also, wow, they have a lot of food here. Okay, this is really nice. I mean, I can see why Paul was so, uh, you know, what well, he wanted to stay and chill out. It's, it's a lovely place. I would love to crash on a tropical island for a week or two and get away from work. Then I have an excuse. Um, is there anything else? I can actually probably run now, now that I'm no longer constrained. Grub basket. Do you catch water? You look like you catch water. No, you seem to like you would leak. Uh, orange color plant that contains a thick protein-rich sludge at its base. Oh. This may suggest a carnivorous life cycle, wherein grubs and insects are attracted to the bright pebbles, 
make their way to the senator's plant but in our uh, oh okay i see this is in fact this is based off a real thing where uh they have these plants in some tropical conditions where it's like a big bath it's like a pitcher plant right uh a pitcher plant has like a big it's like a flower except it's a round it looks like a tube right it looks like a sock and inside the sock it's very slick and then there's water at the base after rain so insects are drawn to come into it but of course they can't get out and they eventually die and become fertilizer for the plant right so it's the same concept as that uh i hope so that's kind of neat i mean unless i feel like hmm is there gonna be a massive equivalent for human sized prey i mean i would fall for something like that <laughs> I'm a bit of an idiot. Huh. I mean, this place is beautiful, but it doesn't seem to contain much other than... the structures. I do like... that I heard a flute. Is that just the music? I really have... You know, speaking of the music, I've, I actually stood in the menu uh, for a bit, just kind of jamming out while, like... You know, mentally waking myself up to play this game. <laughs> and honestly, this game has had such... I don't know... Chill? Music? Atmospheric music. that That's the word I'm looking for. Um, It's been really cool. Also, wait a minute. There seems to be a beach path. Can I... Okay, let me just hop down here. Oh, I, that was a bit, bit of a risk. Okay. Maybe don't do that next time. I still don't know if there's fall damage, but I can't imagine falling head first into the side of a cliff uh, would result in anything other than brain trauma, which I might already have, so I don't think I want to amplify that. Um, is there... I don't think there's anything else on this island, to be truthful. Because the main system of progression we've seen is scanning stuff, and I don't think... And, like data boxes as far as I've seen and I don't think I saw any other structures on this island um ooh, I may be wrong a cave interesting do I I mean I have this light oh oh wait it's another one of these fucking things we've seen three of these so far one inside the alien structure one outside the alien structure and now here I suppose um I wonder if it's like a shrine of some... It looks like... I mean, it looks like a teleportation gate, right? It looks like something is going to, like, phase in... Like, what's that one show? That, that one old... Okay. Uh, Stargate, right? It, it looks like a Stargate. I never actually watched Stargate, but dear God, does it look like one. Um, hmm. Whoa. Oh, that's just, uh, that's just game engine freaking out, huh? Um... Anything I can scan here? No? Can I steal their- I know I've stolen some of their alien technology in the form of the tablet. Oh, alien arc. Hmm. Uh, this structure's intended purpose is unclear. Theories unfunctional. Ceremonial or religious, industrial application, advanced trans- It's an advanced transportation network. Got it. Okay. There's no way this thing isn't a teleporter, unless it is a shrine, but, like, there's too many... You won't have a shrine in the middle of the water outside, right? Unless you have weird cultural value. Yeah, I guess they are aliens, so... Huh. Okay, these are teleporters. Um, can I go in between them? Is there a way to activate them somehow? Do I have to become an alien? I... Hmm. Is this infection turning me... No, no. Because the... I was gonna say, is this infection that I currently have? In fact, let me check up on it. Uh, I still have space cancer. Okay. I wonder... I was gonna theorize if it turned me into an alien, but that can't possibly be the case, because the aliens were... against it? Then again, turning, like, a cat into a human is also kind of morally fucked up, so... Is there anything else in here? I don't think... Hmm. See, now here I'm, I'm worried, like, I, this game seems to be rather obvious in what you should explore, but like, what if I'm missing a tiny little nook, right? Okay, I'm gonna trust the game designers, I don't see anything obvious, therefore I leave. Because this cave was kind of hidden, right? Maybe not. Um, hmm. Okay, let me leave. 
Oh, the rendezvous. The rendezvous. 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 I give up. Some words are a bit too difficult for me. Oh. Oh, that's where we... No, you... Okay. Uh-huh. Wait, so Stone did actually make it here. Interesting. Um... We have to board the Aurora. Repair the long-range comms. Make contact with the other survivors. We can't be the only two that made it. Those are not the orders the captain gave me, and they are not the orders I'm giving you. This isn't chain of command. It's survival. My obligations as acting commander don't turn on their convenience. Get out of the water. If I get into trouble, I'll send you my coordinates. I can't let you go alone. Then come with me. You don't leave me much choice. Received emergency transmission from second officer Keen. Two hours after last activity. Rendezvous was a failure. Intercepted a transmission from Altera HQ. Seems they sent a data package to the Aurora. We were intercepted by a Leviathan-class predator before we could reach the ship. Oh. Consider the CTO and I lost at sea. Be safe. Keen. Out. Okay, so Keen seemed to have actually made it to the rendezvous. Rendezvous. Oh my god. I, I, I'm gonna go through the entire voice log just to see how it's pronounced. Rendezvous. Point. Rendezvous. Mmm. Am I saying it right and that it just sounds wrong in my tongue? Like it feels wrong? And then they decided to go to the Aurora in order to fix the long range communication system. Um, so they went with the CTO, which should be the chief technical officer. If, you know, space speech is the same as corporate speech nowadays. Um, hmm. Okay. It could also be technological officer. Could be a whole bunch of stuff. Um, so there's a transmission from aurora there's a data package uh you know what that is a good point we haven't been to well the big fucking burning ship over there that's actually kind of rather close in fact i probably feel like i should have been there earlier in fact you know what i kind of want to go oh they did say something about a predator though didn't they okay you know we'll find out once we get there but i might just be ooh, oh you're not alive, are you? No, you're mushrooms. Coral plate, shell plate. Interesting. Uh, this variant of coral has adapted to survive in close proximity to other corals. Sure. <laughs> uh, filtering nutrients from the water and sharing them via spore-like substance which grows around the base. So, like, a weird my like a mycelium network that's based off spores. Um, because I know... Yeah, okay, it's the same as that stuff. Uh, let me get to my ship before I get swallowed up by the inky darkness. Um, what the fuck is that? Like the weird cloud over... Okay, I want to check that out. Welcome aboard, Captain. Hello, ship. You wouldn't happen to know... The music's kind of ominous. I don't know if what I'm chasing is a good thing. Um. Oh. Oh, I see stuff down there. How deep is that? Also, wait a minute. If this island is propelled by floaters, does this mean it floated up here from somewhere else? Or does it mean it floated up directly? And then this is the chunk of the earth. I was torn. Um. I'm so nervous. What are those things? They are they just big mushrooms? No, they're floating balls. Oh my my orientation. Oh god, no. Let me control the tilt of my ship manually. Yeah, no, look at that. What the fuck? I see something alive over there, but it, I have Warning. like a maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. I see something over there, but it had like a weird thing around it. Yeah, look at that. Nope, nope, that fucking teleported. I'm not dealing with a teleporting fish thing that I would have to get out my ship for. No way, I am a sane person. What? Okay, what the fu- Okay, fish can teleport, or maybe that was an alien. 
Is that the stocking thing? It kind of looked about... It had like two arms, I think. That was really far, though. I can't tell. Um... Please just be the big... I f is that the big friendly fish? That little lymph node I see in the distance? I hope so. Um, oh, I can see ground again. Oh, thank God. Oh. See, I quite like these guys. They're big and friendly. I mean, they make a lot of noise. I mean, this guy's also right. He doesn't... He's just a bit, you know... He's not too smart, let's be real. Hey. <laughs> How's it going, buddy? Uh, I'm sorry, but I don't think this is gonna work out in your favor. Oh yeah, thinking back on it, we did also mi I've- Oh, is that you? Yeah, we did have the one weird... Like, telepathic moment with that thing, but it could have been a different thing. Uh... Because that thing does not seem... How do I put this? Intelligent. <laughs> um... Then again, I could just be... It was like weird... It had four eyes, which is the same as that thing, so it could just be coincidence, though. Um... Hey, I need to harvest your sacks for something, right? You make a torpedo. The gasp torpedo we saw? Oh, you know what? Before we explored Aurora... I kind of want to upgrade my vessel. My, uh... Sea something. Sea... Moth. Sea moth. Right? Not sea glide? Um... Oh, let me not commit a massive drive-by. Also, the fish has seemed to be a bit more plentiful in the area again. I wonder if it's because I've been away and they've had time to, uh... Recover their ecosystem. Okay, so let me go in here. In fact, let me... What can I build? Because... Oh, oh yeah, I can now make... Ah, uh, I can now make big, actual things, right? How do I... Oh, that's so much better. Can I... I don't think I have the resources for it, right? Yeah, that's way better. Okay, I might just redo my entire base. <laughs> if you could call that a base. Um, Perhaps for another time... Actually, wait, no, there is something I do need to make, right? Was it this? No. Moonpool. Vehicle docking bay with high energy and structural requirements. I think this is how I upgrade my ship. Uh, I need two titanium ingots, a lubricant, and two lead. I can do that. Um, the titanium is actually a bit difficult to get because that's quite a bit, and I don't think we have that. Um, in terms of lead, I do think we do have two lead. Oh my god. This is, this is awful in terms of organization, I know. Um... No, okay, maybe... You know, okay, I might just do my expedition to Aurora first, because thinking about it, logically speaking, that is near the direct site of the crash, so therefore there's probably gonna be a ton of titanium salvage there, right? Um, let me drop off my new materials that I've gathered. Quartz, copper, titanium, silver, and rubies, which we can make something with the aerogel. Uh, this, this is empty. I can drop off these eggs, because I think my egg sack is full. Um, eat my... or drink my water. I think I need this to make... actually, wait, let me get some more water. Salt, and then... do I have more salt? I guess salt's kind of rare. Okay, I wonder if there's an easier way to get... We are in the ocean, right? Can't I just... Though, then again, it could be fresh water. Why is that thing so fucking spinny? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Anytime I see that, I, I just kind of imagine the fucking rat spinning to the Freebird free solo <laughs> video <laughs> in high definition for 10 hours. And I don't know why, but I think that's the peak of comedy. I, nothing breaches that for me. Um, Okay, come here. Come here. I want to eat up and then go to the Aurora. Um, oh, you know what? I should rather than because water I can make with the fish, right? Uh, but here's the thing: is there gonna be? Ooh, I have another tablet too. Uh, is there gonna be consequences for? How do I say this? 
not drinking disinfected. But then again, I'm already eating fish, right? And that's probably like bacterial. I don't know if my like bacterial infection is progressing on its own or through the things I eat and ingest. Because there's no reason for there to be disinfected water. Um, okay, you know what? I will take the slight progression because I want to make one cured fish uh, for my expedition. So I can have a bit of food uh, while I'm exploring the surrounding area. Because I don't think there's going to be any trees unlike the other areas we've been in. And then peepers are good food, and then I don't know about the rest of you, and I refuse to eat a Gary fish. Um, okay. Let's see. It's been a while since- oh yeah, I also have a new message. I didn't notice that at the start. Yoki Kasa. I said Kasa. Why do I have to record this anyway? Send immediate burial detail. <laughs> Signal location uploaded to PDA. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, there you are. Well, sorry, Yaki Kasar. Uh, oh god, I, ho I hope you weren't, like, hunted by the thing that's chasing us. But that was honestly fucking hilarious. Um, too bad for you. Let me make some water now, and then I should be good to go. Although I should actually check up on how my... How do I say? The the, the Seamoth's uh, battery is doing, because I don't think I've actually checked up on that for... In fact, all my tools could probably use a touch-up. In fact, I'm, I'm probably just... I'm just going to leave this flashlight behind. It doesn't seem all... Uh, oh, I have a metal salvage on me. I didn't even notice. Um, I was going to say, it doesn't seem all that useful, but... I don't know, if I'm exploring the ship and it's going to be dark in there, I'd rather use the bright white light than have this uh, sea glide thing. Because there's a light built into this thing, which is nice, but I feel like... In fact, I wish the scanner tool... We did the modification... Uh, what was it? The modification station did say you can combine tools. So ideally, I think if I get the choice, I would want to combine this uh, scanner per with perhaps the flashlight, right? And then maybe the knife somehow. And then that'll be my dream tool so far. Um, I guess I'll leave the coral tube sample here. Is there anything in here that I can... I can bring the fire extinguisher, actually. In fact, that might be a good idea since I'm going... The ship kind of looks hot. And if it's not hot... Do I... Can I get another one of these? Is it... Was that a one-time tool? Yeah, looks like it. Oh no, I can make another one. Oh, they're really cheap, actually. Okay, yeah, then I'll just bring it along, and if there's no fire there, I will just drop it, because it's mostly underwater, and the only bits... Maybe, like, the comms antenna that... Oh, I should eat these. Um, that one, uh, the CTO mentioned. Well, it can be... My brain's struggling to find the word. Give me a second. I'm gonna grab this, because I need this to make a... Uh, where was it? The uh, thing, right? Somewhere here. This thing. Okay, I have a battery on me. And then, I think I have a spare battery that I actually just put away. Um, because maybe I can get retrieve the message that they failed to retrieve themselves. Unless, yeah, they said they uh, wanted you to consider the second officer and, uh, what was it? Oh no. Oh no, this thing is getting rather bulky. Uh, if I am to be honest, I don't know how to classify. I need to figure out how this information is classified. Data downloads is like the PDAs. Got it. Um, Is it sorted by... No, it's not sorted by... Rendezvous. Okay, um... Hmm. Uh, okay, they can say consider themselves lost at sea. I assume that means consider them dead, right? Uh, I don't know what sea speak is, but last time I saw lost at sea, that did indicate and heavily imply that they were in fact very dead. Uh, is that a second message? No. Okay, now... I want this... This is chunky. Okay. 
If I... How much power does this thing have? Welcome aboard, Captain. I mean, not it, it's not bad. It's got it's pretty decent. And also these things aren't too expensive to make. They just require the only really difficult thing about them, in my opinion, is probably the copper, since that's a bit random on how you get it. Um Okay, let me head to the Aurora. Where is there? Also, we did receive a transmission, so we can probably stop along the way of like a hint thing, right? Uh, here we go, codes and clues, and then we saw this thing. So there's probably a life pond somewhere along that area. Uh, so as long as it's roughly here-ish, it should be. Because they had like a picture in the midship. They had a segment in the midship available, and then... Well, we're already... Okay. Oh. Okay, so we see... Ooh, look at this thing? Oh, this is a cool structure. I like this. If oh my god, I want to build my base on top of this. I feel oh, no. <laughs> I want to make a wizard tower. Oh, I'm definitely gonna put. My, you know, I might move my base here. Ooh, also it's titanium. Interesting. You know what? No, I'm gonna do this on the way back. Um. Passing 100 meters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oxygen efficiency. All, all good. All good. All good. Um. Maybe I should have made a second battery... Wait, can I actually swap? Oh, no, I can shuffle around the batteries of things that... Okay, I can probably just move things from unimportant tools to important tools, too. Uh, that is just a little tube for no reason. Um, what is this? Scanner room fragment? No, we have that. Uh, I haven't... That is a weird-looking fish. I don't know if I like it. That was a herbivore. Bioreactor fragment. Uh. New blueprint acquired. Okay. I mean, I can make a bioreactor now. I don't know that good that does me, but. No, oh, that's just another scanner room fragment. Um. Is there anything here that seems to be rather. I guess this is just a bit of materials, but. I don't want to fill up my thing w with titanium quite yet. I guess I'll return here later. Um. Is there really nothing I'm missing? I suppose not. Perhaps something in here. Ooh, I do see something. It is a bar table. Oh no, I do see something very cool. No. Look, I don't know what use I would have had for a forklift in an underwater game, but I don't know. It could have been useful on the island, perhaps. Um, there's a door. Oh, sorry, fish. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Neat. Uh, where am I heading? Uh, actually, let me just go up. Let's see. Hmm, is the life pod... Could be more this way. Is that life pod still floating now that I think about it? Because every other life pod we've been countered. That's new. Uh. Ooh. Interesting. I'm curious but cautious. Okay, this seems to be giant mushrooms and then. I have no idea. Like, what the fuck are... Are those, like... Are those the crabs? No. They look like evolved crab things that are gliding? Are you aggressive? You kind of look poisonous, if I'm being honest. In fact, I see something that's kind of poisonous, but not in the way I think. Uh, bop. I feel like I'm doing the world a favor by doing that. Um, also, wow, that removed almost all my ship's durability, did it? Or am I just mistaken? Ah. Uh, in this area is dominated by plant life, picking up faint or terra vehicle signatures. Interesting. Okay, the biomass is dominated. Also, wait, I should. Tree mushroom. I mean, apt name. Indigenous life form tree mushroom. And are you friendly, or are you gonna attack if I get too close? I. Hmm. Jelly Ray. 
Oh, you're running. You're you're not aggressive. Or maybe you'll be aggressive if I push you too hard. But I do want to finish scanning you. Uh, please just give me this ability. I don't want to. Are you? Oh, so maybe you're like the equivalent of a jellyfish on this. <laughs> Did I just get scared by a fucking bubble? We don't talk about that, okay? Sometimes. <laughs> look, the nerves build up and you're look when you're underwater when 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 you're exploring spooky stuff and new stuff your nerves build up and then sometimes it takes just the faintest trigger what is oh that's just salt but i will take salt actually uh faintest trigger to set off all that tension at once also i did want to read about these things where is it it's probably fauna right yeah fauna and then are you a scavenger no Ancient floater. Didn't wait, didn't I read this? No, I didn't. Biodata suggests that these vast floaters have matured in the ingenious symbiosis with the land they have attached to. The attached landmass is raised in the water, increasing sunlight and encouraging plant growth. As older plants decay, organic residues and nutrients seep back into the rock and are consumed by the floater. These circumstances have must held up for thousands of years for a floater to reach that size. Oh, I did kind of want to pop it with a knife, but I guess I... Mm, life cycle immature floaters are born near the surface from which they sink to the seabed, attaching to any stable surface they find on the way. These individuals, fortunate enough to attach to a digestible nutrient source, will grow in size, thus increasing their buoyancy and... Trying whatever they have attached to close to their surfaces. In extreme circumstances, a number of floaters may attach to a Leviathan class life form, forcing it to the surface and eventually asphyxiating it. Oh, the body will be consumed over n a number of months of until eventually dissolving, leaving floaters free to. Oh, that's kind of. I was kind of right, actually. So they do kind of raise stuff up occasionally and then they will eat it slowly over the course of time and then they will just spread out once it dissolves um those creatures which successfully raise a landmass to the surface are rewarded with a burgeoning burgeoning and permanent food supply allowing them to finally reproduce and begin the cycle again <laughs> i thought this is edible but no that says incredible okay that's cute um oh you're a herbivore okay so you are your light development so you're just you're essentially translucent and luminescent. Uh, you, it's basically made for foraging. It'll ward away predators and identify it. Um, smaller creatures have been seen swimming in the jelly rays wake to advantage of the light source for its own ends. Okay, and it's inedible. I mean that makes sense. It's eventually. Okay, so is this place safe, considering there's a bunch of these? Uh, well, m maybe not, because if there's a predator in this area, they wouldn't necessarily go for these things, because they're inedible, right? Um, oops. Hmm. Is there gonna be a giant mushroom monster? I don't know what to make of anything. There's salt. Okay, there seems to be a bit of salt in this area. I, I, ooh. I need to be more careful. I still don't know what happens if my ship health reaches zero, but I'm not particularly keen on finding out. In fact, let me... And l let me just move this, because... Okay, I don't think I use that too often. Mm. No, no, let me put this here. Because the only time I use the building tool is when I'm in a safe area, ergo, like, my star spawn location, right? Um... Huh. Okay, is there anything else here? I mean, these mushrooms are cool, and these jellyfish are, but... Actually, wait! Oh my... Oopsie! This scared myself! I was actually taking a look at these floating balls earlier... Oh, that's new. That is the most shark-looking shark thing I've seen in this game. How big are you? Wait, are you just a sand shark? You kind of... That is not a sand shark, though. The fuck is is that like a bio limit? Oh, it's come. Well, I see one. That's unfair. Are you aggressive? I can't tell if that's electricity or if that has like bio. No, that like sparked up. I don't know if I want to go in there. 
Okay, let's let's take it slow. Um Huh. Ooh. No, that's just one of those big things. Are you Oh no, I don't think I want to be here yet. Hey, buddy, you're kind of close to my general area of diving. Are you? You don't look friendly. I mean, you're kind of just like a big snake thing with tendrils on I Like a, um... I don't know what to... You're like sparking up, so you got like... You're kind of like an electric eel. Oh my god. Okay, you shocked the fuck out. I, I'm gonna guess it's not safe to touch you with. There is an infected shark thing. Um, I'm gonna guess it's not safe to touch. You don't seem to be particularly aggressive, though. I may just be about to eat my words. No, you seem to be munching off. <laughs> I need, I'm leaving. Fuck you. <laughs> And he shut up. <laughs> you know, I keep poking the tiger. Oh, uh, wait, what's that? Is that... No, that's just like some cysts and lumps. Um, I wanted to, while I'm doing this, actually, you know, it still has a decent bit of power. Um, Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay, those things are not friendly. I mean, they're beautiful, but like, I also want to scan- I kind of want to start scanning it, but like, I have a feeling scanning- Is this the like, Leviathan- Wait, what? No. Is this the Leviathan Predator? I mean, it is kind of big, but I wouldn't call that a Leviathan of all things. Because that thing, where is it? I hear you. You're a big boy. Uh, like, those big boys, they sound- They are kind of deserving of it. Hmm. Okay, if you shock me in this, will I die? I mean, probably not, right? Uh, okay, let's figure out. What do you do? Come on! Grr. Is that it? Okay. Inside my ship, I'm relatively safe. Uh, though... Ooh. Oh my god, you're massive. Yeah, I see you. I do like the fact that some appear to be, like, hyper-massive and some are, like, I mean, very small. That's, that's a pretty neat feature. Um, what's this? Oh, it's just the mushrooms. <laughs> okay. Um, wait, I think I've gotten distracted by mushrooms and giant electric eel things. Uh, and jellyfish things. Um, what was I doing? I was going to the Aurora, right? Yes? No, no, I was trying to look for the life pod before going to the Aurora. Because that's kind of on the way. Um... Uh, let's just go to the Aurora, why not? We can do the life pod thing later. Uh, oh. I swear I don't plan these things. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I mean, neat. You are still floating, which is interesting. You are the first other... Um, can I get in this way? You are the first other life pod I've seen that's actually been floating for once. Most of them I've seen have been... Uh, just kind of delved under water. Is this stuff going? Ooh, all your stuff's down there, isn't it? Um, can I get inside on your latch? No, that thing. Uh, you have a little tech thing. Do you have a hole in you? You do have a hole in you. There you go. Um, first aid kit, sure, I'll take it. Data box. What is this one? Creature decoy. What is this? Where is this? Oh, I could have made a... Oh shit, I could have made this too! I was gonna say... Oh wait, no, I need a modification station for that. I see. Okay, I was gonna say we could upgrade our air tank too, but no. I mean, I think I can actually make a modification station now, right? I got the blueprints for it? Question mark? Um... That's a trash can. That trash can is incredibly futuristic looking. No, I've gotten one blueprint for it. Okay, that's not what I'm looking for. A bulkhead. Provides structural support and prevents flooding. That sounds useful. So I guess that's uh, how you get in... Wait, no, because my thing did... Um, I have to think about that. 
And then these are just base components we've seen. Where is the thing? We just got it, right? Oh, uh, creature decoy attaches creature or tracks creatures to its location. Uh, can be deployed by hand or by submarine. Cannot be reclaimed once deployed. Uh, your three titanium and a wiring kit. Oh. Oh, you're essentially like a grav trap, except maybe you're like a bigger range or something. Except you can't be moved. No, yeah, you can't be moved, but you can be deployed by a submarine. Okay, that's interesting. Huh. And also the grav trap only- Ooh, actually. Thank you. New PDA data. The grav- the Altera crew. Landed in area of significant alien activity. Encountered predators in the Leviathan class, highly aggressive. Spectroscope scanner assigned species designator, Reaper. One specimen attempted to swallow the life pod, doing extensive damage in the process. Only viable option is to make for the safety of the Aurora crash site. I have retrieved a data box with the creature decoy and enough resources to fabricate a couple of them. The swim's longer than the decoy lifetime, but it should just be enough to keep them busy. If you don't find me on board the ship, presume I miscalculated. Okay, you have me worried. Um, do I need to go back and make a decoy? Okay, so there's a Leviathan class predator called a re- I don't see it. The waters are pretty clear in this area. Unless, like, the entire sand bank starts moving and I just get, like, fucking tarlac pit. Uh, I mean, we seem to be chill for a sec. Maybe you did make it, because I do know there's six other survivors. Or however many that one message said. Ooh, there is a lot of stuff here. Oh, you know what? Ooh. You know, there's probably going to be a ton of stuff in this area. Oh my god, there is. Okay, this place is loot central. Uh, I need to come back here once I have... Uh, I don't know, like some sort of inventory that I can carry around. Because there's got to be one of them, right? Because, I don't know, I feel like I'm kind of constrained currently. Uh... I am just a bit of a loot goblin, however. I don't like how you're giving me first aid kits. Have they previously given me first aid kits? Am I fine? Okay, you know, I could just... It's really close! I mean, let's just go for it, fuck it. My hands are sweaty, though, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> My hands... My hands are rather sweaty. Oh, it's just fucking you. You're not a... What? Why are you... Are you the things that broke his ship? Uh, okay. No, I don't think you're it. Because you're just... I mean, maybe. He could just be a coward like me. Okay, so... How do I... All these little fish are making such big noises. I half expect something fucking lurking in the shadows to come and grab me. That's just, is that metal? The ship is shaking. Life form readings in this region are sparse. The Aurora's radioactive fallout will have devastating effects on the alien ecosystem if not contained within the next 24 hours. Oh. Like, 24 hours real time or game time? Because I don't think I have a lot of time for that. Um. Okay, how do I, how do I get in? No? Oh, I see it. Okay. Stupid little fucking whatever things. Um. Where am I supposed to go? Okay, we're inside the ship. What's leaking radiation? How do I repair it? This seems like above the scope of my abilities. I'm not going to lie. I don't think we can probably repair it, right? I feel like this is... Ooh. Is there anything here? Is it just like a big empty hole? Oh my god, wait. Was I supposed to come here before the whole thing exploded? I don't like how it's shaking. Um, oh, that's not the surface. Um, 
I don't like how the whole thing is shaking. I don't know if that's going to be bad for it. Also, you know what? While, while I am doing this, and while I still have the chance, let me replace this just in case something comes at me. And let me repair you. Why are you shaking? Are you going to blow up again? All right. Is there anything here? It doesn't seem to be. It just seems to be a big chunk of a shit. Okay. Uh, sure. I have some water on me. Let's see. Okay, do I actually have, like, a time limit? Okay, here's a question. If I came here before... Like, the... Well, what was it? The quantum resonance cascade, uh... Would I have been able to stop the explosion? Is that actually a thing? Seems to be a bit of surface here, at least. Uh, oh. Oh, there is actually surface here. Interesting. Um, hmm. Okay. Oh. Oh, this pla- Oh. Oh, you're kind of green, too. I don't remember you being so green. Um. Okay. Are you guys infected? Oh, you definitely are infected. Oh, wait. Are you infected? Or was that just one infected? Why are you s You're kind of greenish. I wonder if the- Like, maybe there's like a- In between- I'm just gonna dodge all these because I can't be fucked on stabbing them all. Uh, sure. Actually, wait. Because if this place is like full of them, I might have to come back here with like a weapon or something. Like, an actual weapon that's not a stabbing weapon. I mean, it's a knife. It works. But, like, you can only stab so many things before you get surrounded. Uh, okay, what was in here? Oh, a battery. I mean, can I just stab its big fucking eye and blind? Oh, oh my god. Uh, do I have, like, healing over time? Oh, there's a doorway here. Um... I don't think I can... It's actually blocked by stuff. Can you... One sec. Can you die? I don't want to be bitten by you in particular because you are green. And green things in video games... Uh... Well, things that are green but that are not supposed to be green, such as plants, are typically evil and bad. Um... Okay. How am I supposed to be able to... Nav... Ooh. Ooh. New technology? No, it's just that weird torpedo-looking thing. How many of these things are there? Warning. Ship structural integrity uh. is low. Fire suppression equipment and laser cutters may be required. Exploration is conducted at your own risk. Oh. Uh, I'm not ready for this area, am I? I mean, okay, you know, I have a fire suppressor. Let's see how far I can make it. Maybe I can, like, nab some technology, cuz... It did give me a warning about me 24 hours of something, and I don't want to leave this in case they actually mean in-game. If it's like out of game hours, sure, I can probably do it, but like, in-game hours, day seems to go by pretty quick here. And I'd rather not miss out on anything if, I don't know, well, there are so many of these crabs here. Are you, do you guys eat, no, you guys are carrying theater. You know what, I bet, you know, you know, I'm thinking... Yeah. Scans show the digestive tracts of nearby life forms contain human tissues. Oh, that actually answered my question and my theory. I was gonna say the crash here probably killed a lot of fish in the water, right? Uh, just by like flattening them. How much is this? Yeah, okay, that's not too bad. Um, but no, yeah, okay, I guess they just ate a bunch of human corpses or something. Uh. Okay, more of these. That's useful. Is this ship a big pile of nothing right now? I mean, I don't think I want to get next to that. I, uh, ooh. This seems precarious. This doesn't feel like I'm supposed to be here. Oh. Oh, perhaps I am, though. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Okay, okay, don't touch... Don't touch it the hot. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna ignore all you. Interesting bit of fire. The fire's actually... Oh. 
Oh, I didn't have to bring this. Oh, wait. Um, sure. I think I know how to deal with this. You, when, when you're using a fire extinguisher, make sure you paint, point the fire extinguisher. Uh, not at the fire itself, but the base of its fire. Because what you're doing with a fire extinguisher is you're essentially smothering it to death. And that is nothing. Okay, locked. Uh, I mean, I actually went through quite a bit of it. Oh my god. Okay, maybe I have to come back here with a lot more. Uh, in fact, I will... Assistants are running on local reserve power. Unable to remotely download black box data. That's probably not too good. Um... Yeah, okay. I wonder if I could have come here before the crash and then just gotten away with all of this without, you know, dealing with the fire and stuff. Okay, this seems to be... Integrating new PDA data. Let's see. Um, Altera launches the Aurora. Phase gate announced for the Ar Aradian arm. Altera launches the Aurora. Okay, this is a news... Okay, so... Some guy mentioned that, that they were trying to build a phase gate or something. Or they had the materials for a phase gate. And I guess this is the ship that was... I guess this is a construction ship then. And like, it has crew and stuff. Um... The furthest reaches of inhabited space are due to expand as Altera Corp launches a newly constructed capital ship carrying a phase gate bound for the... Ar... Aridian... 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 Okay, I give up. The Aurora will travel from a space dock on the edge of Altera space, making hundreds of consecutive phase gate jumps through nine different Transgev authorities. Oh, okay, so phase gate is essentially... It's kind of... Hmm. I wonder if it's kind of like the science fiction concept where you have a... I don't know. Uh, like there's a hyperspace lane, right? And in order to travel along this hyperspace lane, uh, you have to... What you might call it, like have a phase gate for each like sort of uh, like bit of distance. So essentially, uh, by constructing this, you're expanding the highway in a literal sense. Um, kind of, you know, if you've ever watched what's it called, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, that was kind of the fate of Earth. Uh, abandoned PDA. Integrating new PDA data. Notes to self. Interesting. I mean, not really. We don't know anything about it. I guess... no? Is this it? No? No, it's the self. Um, so here we are, finally in open space. We cross the galaxy to install a phase gate to send ships to mine resources to build more expensive ships to install fancier phase gates. Or we're trying to exhaust, exhaust the galaxies or ourselves. Uh, 1806 is... Okay, these are just... Uh, use birthday 40 weeks before we get home, 400 weeks before... It feels like to go home, not enough. Credit Altera's paying me, I feel that. 1454 cargo bay code. Okay. So, that, that use birthday thing might be useful, actually. Because that was, Wait, isn't you... Wasn't that the... The, 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 the chief, uh, chief technical officer? Okay. So maybe we can get into their base with it. I'm, we have this. Integrating new PDA data. Oh, administration and cargo bay three. Um, here we go. Exiting sleep mode. Loading voice recognition. Engineer Barkley and Chief Technology Officer you identified. Drone, get me a propulsion cannon. Repulsion cannon retrieved. Hey, Berkeley. Install that circuit box with that repulsion cannon and you'll punch a hole in the cargo bay. Damn it, drone. I said propulsion, not repulsion. Recalibrate sensors. Sensors recalibrated. Sensors aren't the problem. I tweaked the program. It's like you now. It doesn't like being told what to do. <sighs> drone, I know... His name's Albert now. Albert, I know it's not your fault, but it would really help me do my job if you'd bring me what I asked for. Thanks for your time. Propulsion cannon retrieved. Thank you. Now go away. Entering hibernation mode. Boss, this hobby of yours isn't making my job any easier. Or safer. Maybe so, but it's all that's stopping me from being so bored I take a spacewalk in my skivvies. Oh. Okay, so... Chief Officer Yu is playing around with some, uh, AI. That's not really a great thing. How do I... 
Oh, you know what? I probably need the gravity gun thing for this, right? Um... I'm, if nothing but resourceful... Yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah, actually, I should probably not have done that in case there wasn't these boxes, uh, because I don't... Maybe I couldn't have gone back. Oh, you know what? We'll deal with, we'll deal with it if we get stuck. Uh, in fact, you know, let me just save real quick. Just in case I get stuck, uh, and I can't get out. Um... Oh. Of damage to the Aurora do not match any known offensive technologies. Well, yeah, it's the big space gun, right? The big space gun on the island? Wait, we didn't- wait, I guess we did scan that, so maybe it was a different space- mm. No, it was a different- I think they're just talking about the space gun, right? Blueprints, creature decoy, okay, that's, I guess, the log for that. Uh, attracts predators, interesting. Fauna tree mushrooms? Is there nothing here? That music sounds familiar. <laughs> okay, you think he'll carry two- where is, uh, because I think we have 1454. 14. Ooh, this is weird. Oh my god, it's not actually what the finger is pointing to. One, four, four. It's not. Why would you make the cursor into a finger, like a pointing finger, if the f pointing finger is not what's actually pointing to? You you know what I mean, right? That seems odd. <laughs> okay, what what's in here? Oh, that is carbon dioxide in the roof. Ooh. Oh, wait, I am wearing a uh, diving suit, though, so I should actually be mostly fine. Right? Uh, because... I don't want to die of asphyxiation from carbon, like, monox. Uh Is that a problem? Do am I gonna have to deal with that? I mean, perhaps, but... There's so much loot in this that... Oh my god, I should have brought the laser cutter! I don't think I can make it though yet, right? I need one more diamond if I remember right. Huh. Integrating new PDA data. Okay. One of the largest suppliers of spacefaring technologies and consumer electronics in the Federation. Uh, the official supplier of the TSF. What is the TSF? Federation something? Uh, considerably ranked among the galaxy's best employers, began life as a defense manufacturer, get what do you deserve, of almost transgovs can trace their roots back to Earth, Altera, meaning by Earth, is the only one brazen enough to take the name. Um, during the expansion, Altera supplied arms to all sides, acquiring and housing a vast uh, colonist workforce and making the transition to from manufacturer to corporate state. Altera's threat to sea trade was one of the turning points in the conflict, bringing about the end of hostilities in the s and the signing of the Charter. Uh, free enterprise within Altera space is encouraged, but competition's tight and all goods exported off-world must be Altera branded. Oh. Okay, that's a bit... not... Oh, wait, no, I guess... Uh, I get it. It just has to be branded, but it doesn't have to be... Uh made to their specification and standard. Uh, profitable business are bought out by the state owners ex it's kind of sounding like a, you know, not, not, a, not a very nice place to live so far, but we'll see. Owners ascending to the board of directors, well-known Altera technologies like the Cyclops Submersible originated of such private enterprises. Um, Despite superficial similarities to national governments, the corporation's lawyers have always maintained that it has no legal obligation to its employees. Yeah... Okay, Altera doesn't sound like a very nice, um, corpro-fascist state. <laughs> um, but voluntary elects to take on the roles usually served by a democratically elected government. This claim has not been tested in Federation courts. Um... Interesting. So, Altera is essentially a pseudo-government with its own space, but it, it's essentially a government run by a corporation. Very cyberpunkish. Um, oh my god. Okay, I should probably not dwaddle around this area too much because it seems to be uh, quite hot. Is this water hot and boiling? 
I don't want to jump into boiling water because I have a feeling that shall end horrendously for me. I don't know how painful it is to be boiled alive, but I can't imagine that's probably an easy way to go, right? In fact, that sounds like perhaps one of the worst deaths I can think of. This is... Oh, I can do this. Okay. It is interesting how this welding tool seems to work perfectly the same underwater uh, as... Ooh, what's all this? In air. But then again, underwater welders are actually rather well paid, aren't they? Because, well, because of the extreme risks and dangers associated with the job, of course. Uh, I don't think I could be an underwater welder myself, but... Integrating new PDA data. Interesting. So, what was that? Where is it? You gotta... <laughs> is this... Oh, wait, no, here it is. VR suit log. So, they have games, and then I assume... Desert Island Drama... Dot... V-Rat. Uh, that's an... Oh, V-R-A-T. Okay, that's interesting. That, <laughs> they made up a file type. That's funny. Uh, size, three pairs, resources, normal, spawning players. Uh... Has been washed away by unusually high tide. They have traded coconut for 10 credits. They have planted a coconut. They're hungry. He has grown a coconut. He's eaten a coconut. He's no longer hungry. Uh, player 3 has traded a coconut with player 2 for 30. Player... Hmm. <laughs> okay, this is funny. So essentially, player 3 is a smart player. Uh, player one just got unlucky. Uh, he got washed away. This guy, he bought a coconut. He grew, he grew the coconut. He sold the coconut, and then he exploited the labor of player two for coconuts, and then he got shot in the head <laughs> uh, by player two, and then player two won. But because that guy is dead, uh, he's also dead because there's no more coconut tree. Or actually, wait. Oh no, this is just a seamoth uh, thing. Oh, can I open this? Is this how it's supposed to get in? Because if this is like the bay... No? Okay, I don't think so. Because uh, if that's the bay, that probably has like uh, access to the outside, right? Also, wait, no. This thing said something about being... I, if I remember right, it said something about being like... Space-worthy? Like w water in space? Does this thing go in space somehow? Does that propulsion? Do I eventually go into space? I mean, that would be sick. Um, equipment, vehicles, right? Or was it when it first started up? Sea or space environments? How do you move in space? Do you have thrusters? Or do you have like gravitational thrusters? Because you do have, we do have, pro we have proven we have control of some forms of gravity with the grav trap, right? So I guess maybe they utilize that to move instead. Uh, honestly, a lot of free batteries, which I'm digging. Uh, prawn bay and locker room. Uh, sealed door, cut open. I need a laser cutter for that, so I can't access all parts of the ship quite yet. In fact, you know what? Uh, drive room. The hell's a... The drive machine sustained internal damage during collision. Do not attempt repair without appropriate qualifications. Do you mean, like, the warp drive? Uh... Come on, base of fire. There we go. Neat. Okay. What is this? Okay, so... What am I looking at? <laughs> uh, space technology. Um, Warning, local radiation at maximum tolerable level. Cyclops en engine efficiency module. I don't think we have a Cyclops engine. Okay, we have something for something. Um, this is the drive. Is this the warp drive? It doesn't look like it's doing too hot. I mean, well, it is. Looks like it's doing too hot. In fact, in fact, it looks like it's exactly too hot. Um. Can I fix you? Can I move? I mean... You're fucking kidding me. I can repair this thing? 
Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Oh. Oh, okay. Um, sure. I mean, I probably should fix this, right? Breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Am I going to be able... Am I supposed to fix this entire ship somehow? Or maybe I just have to get, like, operational enough to leave this planet, right? Because I don't think we're going to be getting out of it the traditional route because... I think that laser in the sky is just gonna shoot us. Or not in the sky, but in the... Let's see, was it? The island, right? But then again, if I start up the ship, will it... No, because we're in quarantine, right? If we're in quarantine... Also, I feel like I'm in the equivalent of a radioactive cooling pool. Um, this kind of feels like a nuclear reactor and... Yeah, sure, I'll just casually drink water while in Vital just you know radioactive goop um now generally it's kind of safe to be in a, like a nuclear wa reactors water thing as long as you don't dive into it uh but the second you dive into it you're essentially oh my fuck oh the fuck oh, okay there's like little tiny fish in here fuck off Okay, at least they're small. They don't seem to be... I mean, it looks like it grabbed onto my arm. The f oh, you're gross. Wait, let me... Oh, wait. <laughs> wait, can I... Can I asphyxiate you with whatever this... No, I don't think I can. Uh, whatever that substance is. Um, bleeder. Oh, you don't like... I guess you just suck my blood or something. You're essentially like a leech, right? Did you just eat your friend? You're kind of a dickhead, aren't you? I mean, you're also kind of terrible at your job, but whatever. I assume... I'm hmm. Wait, let me read this, actually. Probably not the best place to, but... I mean... But whatever. I'll take my space cancer once I get out of this place. Um... A simple parasitic organism. A little more complex... Okay, maybe I should go into the not in the water. Uh, okay, you seem to meet. And you know what? Let me let me do my job. I can read about the insignificant little leech fish once I leave this water. There's no reason for me to linger in this radioactive goop. I may be wearing a radioactive suit, right? Wait, what happened? What happened? Okay, you know what? I have to know. I is okay. Here's my prediction. I know this is a bad idea. In fact, I know it's probably a terrible idea. But I want her... Nope, 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 okay, that was a... I don't know what I expected, but... Yeah. <laughs> okay, my vision turned green, and I think I took some health damage. Got it. Uh... Don't take off the radioactive suit. It, I want to know what happens though. Do I get like mutated? Do I just die? Do I take health? Why am I doing this to myself? No? Is my brain gonna fry? I'm essentially in a microwave. I'm in the, I'm in the equivalent of a... Oh, this is dumb. Am I slowly losing health? Oh my god, is that it? Okay, that is not a big deal then. Um, I was worried that I was just eventually gonna turn into like... I'm essentially in a massive microwave, right? With all this radioactive energy around me. Um, where are the... There we go. Uh... I was kind of hoping I would pop like a hot grape in a microwave, kind of fizzling out with a bit of plasma and all that. Um, but I suppose we don't get what we want. Uh, I don't see the last one. Though I actually do think I see something sparking over there, but I think it's related to these... How does this warp drive work? Because this seems to be four sequenced things, so maybe each one represents... You know, I, I shouldn't think about space technology too much because I feel like 
is always a lose-lose when you try to overanalyze the technologies of a higher sapien species or a higher species or a species with more advanced technology than you, right? Uh, I can't jump that. Can I get up there? Because it one, either you A, get it entirely wrong, uh, B, you just oversimplified your technology and you look like a damn fool for not understanding its nuances, or C, uh, I don't know what C is, but you just accidentally, you know, gain a misunderstanding of the technology and then screw yourself in the long run. Where am I trying to look? Am I missing? I'm missing one, right? Hello? I mean, the first one was above water, so maybe it might be above water, but I'm not seeing it. Uh. Okay, uh, let me take a quick peek above this. Huh. Am I blind? I might be. No, because it can't be around this area. And I think I checked out that side, right? Is it anywhere obvious? Left, right, no. Up and down. I see you sparking. Okay, thank you for, like, transmitting sparks. That makes it very easy to spot you. Um... It said radiation levels there. Cre Drive core breach sealed. Radiation levels decreasing. What? Okay, you know what that... <laughs> it, it's not that decreased. Um... I guess I just solved the immediate emergency. I don't know what the immediate emergency was, but you know what? I, I did something. I fixed the drive core. Anyhow. Uh... I'm gonna get back to you guys next time. I'll see you guys next episode. Goodbye! <laughs> Have a nice night now, everyone.